Hey there, I have something super important to speak to you about today. It's regarding fast twitch muscle fibers. And you can think of fast twitch muscle fibers as, as those fibers that allow us to do activities that require a very quick, you can even say explosive amount of strength or force instantly. If you have to pick your grandchild up off the floor or if you're on the plane and you're trying to stow away your carry-on and put it in those overhead compartments, those are fast twitch. Going upstairs, being able to propel your body weight up forward upstairs, fast twitch. God forbid if you were to fall on the floor and you needed to get up off the ground, those are all fast twitch. We have to have accessible, we have to be able to stimulate in order to do that. Unfortunately, as we get older, and, and it even starts at a younger age, even in your 30s, and, and from there going, going forward, we, we start to lose fast twitch muscle fibers at an alarming rate if, if we are not consistently training them through specific exercises. But if we are not doing that in a prevention-based mode, we lose them so quickly. And that's comparing them to slow twitch muscle fibers, which are much more sustainable. We are, we're able to hang on to those. But again, those fast twitch go very quickly if we're not diligent about training them. And what that looks like later in life is not being able to, to get out of the chair, not being able to step up onto a curb or, or step down into your garage or, or again, stepping into your shower. Getting, off the, getting up off the floor again is, is not going to be, you're not going to be able to complete those types of activities if you're not, again, consistently training your fast twitch muscle fibers. And it has to be done consistently. I cannot stress that enough. So that is the point of this video. And I wanted to show you some exercises that you can start doing today that will really start isolating those fast twitch muscle fibers, stimulating them so we can maintain them, but not only maintain them, but produce more so that later in life we can do all those activities we love. We can, we can have, add so much more quality to life. Before I show you the exercises though, I wanted to show you a quick, very reliable test. It's gonna give you instant feedback on what type of fast twitch muscle fibers you have and how they're being stimulated, how you can access them or if, if they are engaging, if they are engaging enough for you to do this. I call this the fountain of youth test. Um, if you have a clean bill of health, please try it. If you do not, if you're in pain or you have any medical contraindications to exercise, do not attempt this. But if you do have a clean bill of health, please try it. Just have someone with you, just in case you need some assistance. And, and also you need that someone with you to, to time you. There's a time element to this also. So let me show you the fountain of youth test here. If you have some carpet, that would be uh, your best choice because we're gonna get down on the floor here. And again, have your assistant, your spotter timing you to do this. With I just want you to get right down on your tummy, on your stomach, all the way down flat, hands to your side. And the goal is to try to get up as fast as you can. And again, that's gonna require a lot of fast twitch engagement to do it. So let me give you an example, see what I can do here. So my arms are to my side, I'm on my tummy. I'm gonna to try to get up as fast as I can. Three, two, one. Okay, so pretty good. Not bad for the old man, got up pretty quickly there. Just to give you some numbers though, if you can do that, the Fountain of Youth test, if you can get through that in three seconds or less, that's excellent. That means you, you have um, not only fast twitch muscle fibers available, but you're accessing them very quickly. Three seconds or less, excellent. If you're in the three to four second range, that's still pretty good. Four to five seconds, that's, that's about average, fair. Over five seconds, that's a, a pretty, um, that's a pretty good indication that you're not able to recruit fast twitch muscle fibers. Regardless of your score though, even if you had a three or less, 
you still have to consistently keep training those fast twitch muscle fibers because again, as we get older, if we're not, if we're not really honed in on them, they're gonna atrophy, we're gonna lose them. And as I stated earlier, that's gonna be very poor outcomes for us as we age. So what can we do? What exercises can you start doing today to start honing in, isolating, stimulating, producing more fast twitch muscle fibers? Let me show you here. Um, let me get a chair. And again, if, if you're in pain or have any medical conditions, do not do these. But if you do not, I would highly encourage you to start today. So you just need a chair and you just want to inch out so you're sitting on the edge of the chair. We can hinge our hips a little bit keeping our back straight. We don't want to compromise our back and bend forward, back straight. And all that I want you to do is arms out in front. I just want you to stand up as fast as you can. Coming right up and then slowly lower yourself. And as soon as you hear, feel your rear touch that chair, the edge of the chair, right back up. Slowly lower, tap, right back up. If that is too challenging for you, you can pull a chair up to your kitchen counter. Just hold on to the counter and do it. Press right onto the counter, up quickly, slowly down. You can progress these. That's what I really like about these two. You can modify them. You can make them more intense or less intense. If you want to increase the intensity, you can even throw more explosive movement into it. So this time I'm going to stand very explosively and I'm going to raise up on my toes also. So here I go. I'm going to hinge back straight up and on the toes. Slowly lower and tap up and on the toes. We can bring it up another level. We can even throw a little hop into it. So again, I'm in the same position. I'm going to stand up quickly, throw a little hop into it now. Down and tap up and hop and I, I think you can see again that that's what we're talking about here fast twitch explosive you want a surge of energy of strength of force very quickly let me show you another one um, I'm gonna bring the chair out I'm just gonna raise this up a little bit and uh, I'm gonna show you with the back of a chair but Please at home, do this with your kitchen counter. It's just more safe, more stable. So you hold on to your counter, hands about shoulder width apart. You're just gonna back up to about a 40, 45 degree angle. I hope you can see my feet, but I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm raising my heels. Maintaining this angle now, I'm just, I'll start slowly here. We're just gonna drive the knees up and forward. You can think about it like you're, you're almost running in place. And as you can see, you can start to really increase the pace there. You can get going pretty quickly. But again, I think you can see the transition that I'm exploding. I'm moving fast. I'm engaging those fast twitch muscle fibers to allow me to do that type of activity. Love that one. Get your heart rate up pretty good too. And uh, let me show you another one. I'm going to point the camera over to the wall now. So yeah, just get a nice strong wall and you're just going to lean a little bit into it. You're going to bring your hands up about as high as your shoulders, about the same width apart too. And from there, I just want you to lower yourself towards the wall and then you're going to try to push off explosively back to a standing position. So again, Hands about shoulder height, about the same width. Lean into it, lower, push off. And again, to increase the intensity, we can, we can in increase the, the tempo of that exercise. So I'm here, I'm gonna just kind of fall into the wall now, push right back off. Another great example of that, again, of that quick surge of strength, of energy, of force to complete that type of movement. So I think uh, those are some great ones you can start on today. Doesn't have to be a lot. I would even say, even if you did one of these, one of these three every day, again, 
and, and this is high intensity. So even if you can get up to eight or 10 repetitions, that's great. That's, that's what you want. High intensity, lower repetitions, explosive movements like that. And that's going to hone in on those fast twitch muscle fibers, which are essential that we all need as we get older for our quality of life. So please start doing these. Again, I, I think um, the, the effectiveness is of this, what it will bring you is, is um, immeasurable. It's, it's that helpful. My name is Eric. I've been a physical therapist for a long time. This is what I do. I help active seniors increase their quality of life. I give pretty much everything away, all my material away for free. If you are interested though, I do have a program, an online program. If you wanna take it to the next level, I'll leave information below. If not, again, I am happy to help you in any way I can. I'll leave my uh, website below, I'll leave my email. If you have any questions, please send them to me. I'd be happy to help again in any way I can. All right, I hope, uh, hope this was informative. I hope you start doing these and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.